and holding on until about your lunch hour and then we'll get into that dry spot for your dinner hour 66 degrees that's as good as we get for the day today we hold on to that cloud cover and then rain does arrive again later on this evening maybe a, a shower or a storm or two in there but i really think it'll be mostly rainfall and then temperature is dipping back to 48 degrees so this is how it times out by late evening right around sunset we're going to see some of these rain showers move through maybe a pocket of more heavier rainfall towards the I-94 corridor, maybe a storm, but I really think the higher instability is off to our south. This can hang on for the early overnight hours, maybe even a lingering shower early Tuesday morning, but much of Tuesday then will be dry, quiet, and cloudy. You might see a little bit late day, a shower or two activity late Tuesday overnight into Wednesday for our far southern communities, but otherwise the rest of us staying dry. So how much rain are we talking? Again, this is really light stuff today, so between today and tomorrow, we're talking about a quarter to a half of an inch. Maybe some of you around the I-94 corridor see a bit more, but all in all, really light stuff. And we're having these cooler temperatures this week. And the Climate Prediction Center is showing that it's going to even stick into next week. So let's take a look at these temps. 61 degrees tomorrow, 61 on Wednesday. And now we have 57 on Thursday. Thursday, second half of the day, more of the evening time frame. That's one of a slight chance of some more showers. But look at those overnight lows. We're back in the 30s by the end of the week. I think Friday night is our biggest concern for any frost. We'll have to keep an eye on that as we head into Mother's Day weekend. Just a slight chance around.